I am second day. It's been a great morning so far, hasn't it been, Jeremy? Yes. Y'all have been commenting, sending us emails, letting us know that you've been ready to take action today and go from viewing to doing. And that's really what we've been praying about. So if you've been sharing the films with someone, shared your story with someone, or hopefully took the step to share the gospel, then please let us know at social at I am second or go to I am second.com because we really want to keep hearing from you. You are the reason I am second exists. It's a tool for you to use however you can. Our films, blogs, discussion guides, training and encouragement is all there for you to use for God's glory. And when you do that, the impact can be felt at work, in your family, at church or your school. Let's dig a little deeper into the school impact. I know it's been a while since we've been in school, but John Humphrey has a special guest with him today who has been for the last 14 years using I Am Second tools at the school where she teaches. John, introduce us to Darla. Yes, Christina, joining us here in the Hope Center lobby set is the legendary Darla Hinchy. And I say legendary because Darla Hinchy has been teaching business classes as a teacher at Denton Geyer High School now for multiple years, but for the last 12 years, she has been the sponsor of the I Am Second Club. Darla, thanks for being here. Sure. And tell us how you got involved in the first place to be the sponsor of an I Am Second Club at Denton Geyer. Well, it wasn't my plan, that is for sure. I was in a Bible study one summer with a coworker, a teacher friend of mine, and she said that some students had come to her and asked about starting a, a Bible study group and that she was going to help them get that going and asked if I would assist her. So I said I would. And um, that was kind of the first commitment I'd ever made to combining my spiritual life into my career. And so that was kind of a, a big step for me. Um, but through that summer, as we continued to study together, um, she decided she was not going to return to the teaching career. And so then all of a sudden, it became my group to begin and get going. And so that it, I just kind of inherited it from her. And it has truly been a blessing it's, in so many ways. And so how did the I Am Second theme and tools and resources get included into this club? Well, the uh, girls that started it had uh, come across the IamSecond.com website and loved your testimonial videos, loved the movement, and uh, really were encouraged by your staff to uh, take this and into the, the high school areas and, and, and try to see if the, if the high school kids could also catch uh, that movement and get excited about the Lord. And, and that's just kind of how it all began. We started with just viewing I Am Second videos each week uh, as the group met, very small group, just a few kids, uh, watching testimonial videos. And I was amazed at how I, every, everyone took a different perspective on what they saw in the video. It was always a quick video viewing, but then they would ask, uh, have some small group questions that they would ask the kids. And the kids would begin to open up and start sharing what, how that video impacted them and what it meant to them in their lives. And the kids became more and more bold with their uh, sharing each week. And they began to invite other friends and the group began to grow. And uh, through that first year, it went from just a handful of, of students uh, to dozens and dozens and dozens and has continued to grow in that way over the years. How has it continued for 12 years? I mean, it's not only you that's involved there. You can't make it continue. So how does it go? It's all about the kids. The, uh, the, as the, the students grew up through their high school years, uh, I saw the mentoring and the discipleship that began to take place from the older students that would, uh, that would see the younger kids begin to attend the meetings, not really even knowing the Lord and not really even having a walk with, with the Lord. They began to read the Bible and study the Bible and have that uh, discipleship really poured into them on a weekly basis. I could see the growth in the individuals. And that continued year after year as, as they, then as those younger ones grew up, they did the same mentorship to, uh, as they got, got older into the younger kids. And it just, it continues to exponentially grow in the depth of their spirituality. You get people that come back to 
to visit you and to visit the club. So tell, tell me about those type of visits when those that are in college or maybe have even graduated college and are out having families now. We just had this happen. Uh, the first meeting we had of the spring semester a few weeks ago, our president from last year, the girl that, that ran I Am Second last year, she uh, returned from Texas A&M Texas uh, to speak in, as our kickoff meeting for 2024. And uh, she just was sharing about the impact that I Am Second made on her during all of that time as she grew in her faith and grew in her leadership skills uh, through I Am Second uh, Servanthood. Um, and then when she moved on to college, she immediately sought out the same type of a situ situation at the college level. She's very involved in a, a discipleship group there on campus at her college and is continuing to serve and immediately sought out a church, is serving in our church, is serving at the Christian group there um, in, on her campus, and just is continuing to glorify God in everything she does and seeking out and seeing the goodness of God in her life uh, just exponentially each year as she continues to grow. Now I've been to your classroom and it is chock full of mementos and things on the wall from all those 12 years. Tell me about what you have chosen to do with all those mementos. Well, the first year when the uh, initial girls graduated and I knew how special that was that they were called to begin something that I could definitely see a future in, I uh, created a collage picture of all of the, the main events that had happened that year and, and how they had poured into the group and gave it to them as a senior gift before they graduated and left. Um, and so I can t have continued to do, that, to do that over the, tw the 12 years that, um, that this has been continuing. All of those photos are all very special memories of the uh, involvement of those kids and the impact that I Am Second has made uh, in their lives and in our, on our campus. Yeah, tell me a little bit about that, the impact that you've seen in the school over the years. It's a very well-known group uh, because of how many kids are involved, but also just the impact that we've been allowed to have. We have uh, posters all over the, the campus that, that very clearly state what I Am Second is, what our purpose is, when we meet, everyone is, in, in, uh, is invited, everyone is welcome. Uh, we want uh, to spread the word as much as we possibly can, uh, trying to draw in as many kids as possible. And it hasn't just been on your campus. I get a phone call at least once a year from an, another teacher or someone at a different school who's asking how did you get this started? What are the, the, the secrets that you can uh, share with us on how to, to for it to be a long lasting uh, impactful group uh, that kids can grow from. This is an organic thing that is happening. Yes. And coming very much from the example that you have set over these 12 years, and we thank you. And as a legend, we kind of just bow down to you for all that you've done in the schools and for I Am Second. It's been a, been a blessing for me as well. Thank you, Darla. That is an incredible story. I love the fact that while she's been the sponsor, the group itself is student run and that they're able to continue it year after year. And that is not an isolated case. There are many schools and church groups that have been using the I Am Second tools continuously since we launched 15 years ago. Mm. All of our tools, curriculums, guides, all come under the banner of Live Second. We want you to be growing in your walk, challenging you to action, spurring one another on in their faith. It is a pathway for you to take the next steps after watching the powerful stories we have at I Am Second. We even have initiatives and resources that are created for use with prison ministries, with college students, for marriages, and other specific areas. These are made available to anyone at little or no cost. But we do have expenses to provide these tools. That's why today we're asking that you consider supporting the I Am Second initiative financially with a gift of any size. Your support will go a long way in helping supply these resources for people like Darla to use in their own spheres of influence. 
you can make a gift today at IamSecond.com by clicking or tapping on the Give button. And know that when you do, you are making a difference in the lives of others. Keep checking back for more updates on I Am Second Day, and please let us know how you are going from viewing to doing.